So first up, I'm going to load the library for GJobi, and this is a bit like uh, including a package. GJobi uses a GTK, so uh, it works pretty similarly in Windows, Mac, and Linux, um, although it doesn't have platform uh, compliance with the UI paradigms. Then I'm going to use read.csv to pull in a data file. This is the uh, data from the Mozilla Places Stats project, which is a way to opt in and provide summary statistics about your bookmark and history data store. Of course, what I actually want to do is load this into a variable. And so R uses a piping like mechanism. For that. Okay, so we've loaded in the data set, and now I'm going to run GJobi on places, and that will launch that interface. And I'm going to show you uh, in this video how to do a scatter plot matrix and color code the variables. Um, in the next sequence, we'll look at, at uh, doing brushing and some um, sub selection of, of data. So under the view menu, you have a, a number of uh, interesting bits. 2D tour is uh, pretty cool, and I'll look at that in a next time around. Okay, so I'm going to do a new scatter plot matrix, and then I'll be able to set the variables I want to look at um, from the variable selection menu here. So, and there's a sort of minimum count. Add in bookmark count and tag count. Now let's say we want to color code to get some uh, better idea here of what's going on. We can go to automatic brushing, select the variable we want, we'll try the number of tags users have, and I'm going to change that to use a constant bin count which will essentially divide up, uh, is more like a median metric, um, apply. Now this is a variable for, cat this is a color scheme for categorical data and this is really continuous. I want to have this coded uh, in a, a way that allows me to see volume. So I'm going to go to color schemes and go to pick a se sequential color scheme. Apply that and now you've got uh, a lovely view. And uh, to get a feel for this, one of the ways to do it is to turn on identify. And so you can go into identify and control click to select the different uh, values that you want to show when you mouse over a label or mouse over a data point. So now I can select a guy. If I click on it, the label will become sticky and I can come down and, uh, and reset that after time. So there's a click and so now I've got two that are sticky. One of the tenets of GJobi as a visualization platform is multiple parallel displays that show you the same data and connect your sort of focus within one data point in other graphs. And that'll, uh, that's one of the big payoffs. So that's the basic on, uh, on uh, getting a scatterplot matrix and uh, launching GJobi with a data set you've loaded in.